Hello and welcome to Cal Poly iPad Support. This video is going to show you all the steps of backing up your iPad's information to your computer or iCloud. For those who don't know, backing up your iPad or any device really means to take the information from that device and store it on another in case anything were to happen to it. For instance, you write a paper on your iPad but you drop it and the screen shatters. If you have your iPad set to backup regularly, your paper will be safely stored on your computer. This also goes for the case of your iPad being stolen, or if your iPad is suddenly wiped of all information while updating a new operating system, which actually happens more often than you would think. So now that we've covered the why of backing up your iPad, we can move on to the how. You are going to use iTunes on your computer to manage the backup settings for your device, so first make sure that your iPad is plugged into your computer. You should then see a button for your device in the top right corner of the page. This should bring you to the summary tab of your device. Your backup settings will be in the backups box. There are the options to backup to this computer or iCloud, which we will learn more about shortly. For now though, you can select this computer. This will make it so that every time you connect your iPad to your computer and sync, it will also backup your information to it. To manually backup, simply click on Backup Now. This is also where your Restore Backup option will be which will replace whatever is on your iPad now with whatever information and settings were on it when you last backed it up. So that is the computer covered. There are also ways to back up your information directly from your iPad. From your iPad, you can back up a limited amount of information to the iCloud, which is a digital storage bank that you can access from anywhere as long as you are connected to Wi-Fi. To access your iCloud settings, select Settings from the Home page. Then select the iCloud tab from the list on the left side of the screen. Here you can pick and choose what information from several applications you want to be backed up onto the iCloud. Just choose only the most important because you only start out with 5 gigabytes of storage on the iCloud. After selecting that, you can go to the storage and backup. Here you can see how much space you have left available in your iCloud, buy more storage space, Set your iPad to automatically back up to the iCloud or manually back it up. When set to back up automatically, your iPad will back up daily as long as it is connected to Wi-Fi, connected to a power source, and turned on with the screen locked. Backing up to the iCloud is very simple, but restoring your iPad from the iCloud is a little bit of a process. You will have to basically reset your iPad to factory settings as if it were brand new. To do this, you have to go to General Settings, and then go down to Reset. Then select Erase All Content and Settings. Before doing this, be absolutely sure that your iPad has been backed up. I will double check, maybe even triple check. After erasing all your content, you will have to reconfigure your language, country, and network connection. Then you will see a page that asks you to set up your iPad. Here, you can select Restore from iCloud Backup. Then you simply have to enter your Apple ID and password and agree to the many terms and conditions. You can also restore from your iTunes account from this page, but you'll need to be connected to a computer. So that is all the knowledge I have to offer on backing up and restoring your iPad. The last thing I can tell you is again, make sure to back up your iPad before every system update. You never know when your iPad will be the one to freeze in the middle of an update and lose all your information. If you have any more questions, please check out iPadSupport.calpoly.edu.